something about a truck. Kelly said he needed an attorney, and so I just mentioned you. Tully Brown treated me like dirt when we were kids. You know what he's doing now? Rescuing kittens out of trees and old ladies out of burning buildings. Hey, Fireman, can you believe it? No. <laughs> yeah, he's got a wife, couple of kids, another one on the way. I hear he even pays his taxes. Did you know he was the biggest bully in Birmingham? Renee, I want you to meet uh, Johnny. This is Renee Jackson. Hello, Johnny. Are you getting enough to eat? Oh, never a problem with that, Miss Jackson. M Mom, we're gonna take off, okay? What, are we boring you? No. No. Bye. Bye. Are those two adorable or what? You never told me a Johnny was so cute. You know I'm talking about them. Did you sleep with him yet? I mean, that's your husband. So. How are you and Renee get along? Uh, good. good. She wants to take it slow, so we're going to play pool tomorrow night. Pool? Yeah, what's wrong with pool? Oh, nothing. <laughs> hey, Spark, hey, hey. This is Renee Jackson and Bill Moody. The cop and the lawyer. Ooh, ooh there's a scary combination. Huh? <laughs> nice to meet you. Well, listen, I heard a pretty funny cop joke the other day. Uh, do you have a good sense of humor? Yeah, go for it. A motorcycle cop pulls over this young, hot babe in a sports car. As he's walking over, he realizes his zipper's down, so just as he's zipping up, the babe looks over and says, oh, no, not another breathalyzer test. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Oh. What do you call a dead blonde in a closet? 1984 world champion of hide-and-seek. Oh. Oh. <laughs> hey, hey, it's a Tully man. 10 to 1, I'm going to spend the rest of the afternoon giving out free legal advice. He was my worst nightmare. I'm going to get you for this. They're just grasshoppers. Squeeze them hard and they spit tobacco. Want to see? <laughs> hey, hey, you come give your telly bear a big hug. <laughs> oh. How are you, girl? You look great. I see you in a paper all the time. <laughs> Congratulations on all your success. Oh, thank you, thank you, and... Uh, and me tells me that you've been doing great, too. Oh, I'm giving it my best shot. Well, what have I missed? A couple great jokes. <laughs> oh, 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 I got one. What's Webster's definition of confusion? Father's Day in Harlem. Any <laughs> day. <laughs> 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 Kittens out of trees and old ladies out of buildings. Give me a break. That guy hasn't changed a bit. Didn't you think it was even a little bit funny? No, and your joke wasn't any better. How about your joke? I thought they were all funny. Come on, Renee. Tell didn't mean anything, by it. You're not going to leave now, are you? No, I'm starving, and I want to eat this potato salad that I made. I thought you quit again. I did. Well, you can't quit. I mean, just face it. Never happened. I keep telling her Kelly's going to start smoking. I keep telling her. Oh, yeah, Second yeah, half. yeah. Y'all want to stop it with the public service announcement? You couldn't even quit for a day. I could, too. <laughs> She's dreaming. One day? Watch me. How about a week? You quit smoking for one week, and I'll pay you $1,000. Get out of here. I mean it. $1,000. I will pay you in a happy second. She can't do it. Wait a minute. For 1000 bucks and to beat you in a bet, stand on my head for a week. <laughs> oh! Hey, Jackson, you hiding from me? Here, let me give you a hand. Remember, I have a gun. I'm sorry if I upset you with that joke. I, I wasn't thinking. Not you, Telly. So, you're gonna help me out with this little jam I got in with my with my truck? He needs it for that parade we were telling you about. Well, yeah, we always, uh, you know, let him use it to pull one of the floats. And my buddy, we got our routine down solid. We're good to go, but we need the truck. What exactly happened? Well, I sort of let some parking tickets slide, and they sort of 
impounded my truck. You don't need a lawyer for that, Tully. Pay the tickets. No, no, no. I, I did that. But the guy at the impound yard is a jerk, and we got into it, and I probably said some things I shouldn't have said, and he got pissed, and now he won't give me my keys back. Can he do that? If that's the whole story, no. Is that the whole story, Tully? Well, yeah. What, what do you think? I hit the guy or something? No, I, I didn't touch him. All right, why don't you give me this phone number and come by my office tomorrow, too? Oh, thanks, Renee. Listen, I'd like to come by your house sometime and, uh, you know, check it out. Make sure it's safe, your wiring, smoke detectors, okay? Okay. Okay. All right. And we all thought he was going to grow up to be a serial killer. You wimps going to play football? You said you were going to play football. Uh, yeah, we'll be on the little while. Get out of here, Tully. Why are you playing this stupid game? What'd you do that for? Get back here, Dolly Brown! I guess I'll go play football. Come on, let's play check her skin. I've beat you five times already, Mary Elizabeth. You want to arm wrestle? I'm going to beat you at arm wrestling, too. You want to bet? You mean his foot. Elizabeth O'Brien, get up off that floor. We were just leg wrestling. I think it's time for you to run along home, Kalia. I'm sure it's time for supper. Did you hear about the new intern Hillary hired at the White House? No. Lorena Bobbitt? <laughs> Mission accomplished. Yes. Oh, thanks, Renee. I gotta get to court. Huh? Tully, it's nice talking to you. You bet. <laughs> what do I owe you? It's okay. No, no, I'm serious. How much? No, really, Tully, forget it. I'm not gonna forget it. Me and Maddie are having a little bash tomorrow after the parade. Uh, no biggie, just you know, a few buckets of hot wings and a keg or two. You and Bill, why don't you fall by? Well, Bill has to work. You can come with Collie and Mary Elizabeth. You could meet my kids. Only you can't tell them what a moron I used to be. Deal? Deal! All right. <laughs> what time was that girl? Exactly. I said, what time we got to get up? Pray starts at 9 o'clock. <laughs> What's so funny? This comedian, he's hilarious. You know, if you brush your teeth much longer, you're going to need a gum transplant. Hey, I quit smoking, all right? I need to have something in the mouth. I'm not going to touch that line with a 10-foot pole. <laughs> Just hold me, would you? I haven't been to bed in a hundred years. I've been smoking a cigarette. If all I have to do to keep you from smoking is make love to you, baby, you ain't never going to leave this bed. Hey, hey. I said, homie, I didn't say make love to me. There's a difference. The nigga dog, you know you've seen the nigga dog. And to my wife, said, I said, baby, I bought you the nigga dog. She said, nigga dog. I said, yeah. You squeeze his belly, his eyes bug out. He said, damn, woman, didn't he steal your car? <laughs> but it's all right. I said, I can say these things, man, because I'm black. I mean, I am black. Now, you think you're black. I am a black man. Look at me. I wonder if Renee would think this is funny. Man, you know Come on, it is funny. White women just to make me look bigger and fatter. I leave a smudge on a white woman like this. <laughs> 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 See, I make them white boys mad. Oh, God. <laughs> we are bad. Why? Why is this bad? I don't know, but I'm sure somehow it is. Great. 
celebrations you attended in Washington. Truth? I've missed this. Want me to ask you to put it out? Are you crazy? I'm trying to wave it in my direction. Secondhand smoke doesn't count. <laughs> Blackface? Most likely. <laughs> Come on. They do crazy float every year. You missed last year. They did uh they did the gays. What'd they do? Come dress as AIDS patients? No, a bunch of firemen uh, dressed up like Dorothy and Wizard of Oz and they tried to throw their hoses over the rainbow. <laughs> What's it gonna be next year? Are you gonna come as Jews wearing ovens on their head? I'm telling you, I think the whole thing's gotten out of hand. Oh, come on. It's just a bunch of guys blowing off steam. They scare somebody every year. The world's gotten so PC, nobody's having any fun anymore. Tully was in blackface, dressed up as a pimp. Look me in the eye and tell me you don't think that that is just a little bit over the line. Well, you looked me in the eye and tell me you didn't think it was funny. The rapping, yes. The blackface, no. And I thought you were supposed to get me some more carrots. I did. You ate them all. Turning orange. <laughs> yeah, you want to give up? No, I don't want to give up. I want a big old, huge, long-ass cigarette. Perfect. I take it the parade didn't exactly warm your heart. I heard that can get pretty wild. Let me, let, me, let me get this. Let me get this. I knew when I moved back to Birmingham that I'd encounter racism. Maybe not get the best table at a restaurant or, or be ignored by salespeople when I went shopping, but not four men in blackface rapping about hoes with a pimp leading the pack. I'm sorry, Renee. If Tolly wasn't such a good friend of Emmy's, I would have this plastered all over the national news. It's all over the damn paper. The fire commissioner will be reviewing the situation to determine whether the four firefighters who wore blackface and rode on a float in the Harvest Parade will be terminated. Terminated? I thought they were talking suspension. It's election time, Collie. I've been talking to the brass all day. Politics, politics, politics. Well, what am I going to do? Just ride it out. I, I might lose my job. Maddie's pregnant. You know, I can't lose my job. The house? What am I going to do? Now, don't go getting crazy. All we wanted was to give people a few laughs, and this whole thing just got all blown out of sight. It's politics. That's what it is. What am I going to do, Collie? If I can't fight fires, what the hell am I going to do? Look good to me. Yeah, me too, till it didn't go in. Hey, Moody. Losing your touch? Never. Nice. Looks like she's got you behind the eight ball, Moody. He's a boy. You're supposed to let him win. It's not my nature, Renee. I've got to beat him at something. There he is. Okay, Sims, on the count of three. Vroom, 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 you're on a cliff. Ready? One, two, three. Come on, you little boy, cream puff puff.
challenge you to a race, call your sums. Are you gonna help me build this go-kart or not? You shouldn't smoke in here, I mean. Yap, yap, yap. Always on me about smoking. Roger Mara smokes. The only reason you're gonna race is because you like Collier. That's not true. I saw how you looked at him in his race car. I was looking at his car. Why is it so important for you to win? Because I always win. My mama told me I could do anything I set my mind to, and I set my mind on beating Call Yourselves. Hmm. These will work. I can do this, Renee. I know I can. I know you can, too. She want to go for cappuccino. You always smoke when you drink coffee. How about a donut? No, I'm just going to addict it to sugar. Whatever it takes. Where are my keys? Did you hear about Tully? I think he might lose his job. I heard. He's in an awful lot of trouble. You know what? I... Oh, don't do it, Emmy. What? Ask me for help. That's what you were going to do, isn't it? Well? What Tully did was unforgivable. Oh, it was silly and ridiculous, but he didn't mean any harm. It was racist and degrading. It was a joke, Renee. I mean, if you had seen it on Saturday Night Live, you probably would have laughed. I guess I'm just not hip enough to laugh when a little redneck fireman makes a bad joke. A little redneck fireman? I don't think that's funny, Renee. I didn't intend it to be. And how about that joke you told at the barbecue, huh? So you can tell a joke about how all blondes are idiots, but Tully has stepped over the line. Now, I don't know, Renee. Just could you explain this to me? Fine. Listen up. White men dressed up as black-faced women looking to a pimp for guidance supports the notion that all black people are nothing more than lazy, shipless, good-for-nothing, low-life niggas whose only purpose in life is to grow up to be hoes, drug addicts, criminals, or to just live off the state. Now, this stereotype has made it very difficult for black people to advance in this society. Didn't hold you back any. Oh, like hell it didn't. I had to work twice as hard. Renee, if every joke told about somebody doesn't hold back the whole race, what about men, for heaven's sake? I mean, why did God invent men? Because you can't mow the lawn with a vibrator. <laughs> now, who does that offend? Men, the, the plastics industry, or horticulturalists? I'm not going to help Tully. So you think he should be fired? No, but I'm not going to help him. You know, maybe we should just forget about that cup of coffee. Well, then maybe we should. What do you call a thousand lawyers at the bottom of the ocean? A good start. It's an old joke, Emmy, and I'm still not going to help Tully. You seen your mom? Um, she's upstairs polishing a chrome in the bathroom again. Timer Simpson. Hey, Johnny. We were just getting something to eat. I should probably go. No, no. Finish your sandwich. I got football practice anyways. Coach doesn't like a one with legs, so. Ooh. Uh, see you. Oh, hey, hey. <laughs> I'll call you later. Okay. I'm sure it's been a grouch lately. I'm real proud of your mom, you know? You should be, too. This is what? Four days without a smoke? Last I heard, it was four days, three hours, six minutes, and 14 seconds. You go easy on her now. She and Renee aren't getting along too good, either. So she's even more stressed out than ever. Over all this stuff with Tully? Yeah. It wasn't very cool, Dad. A Johnny said some kids were fighting about it the other day. About Tully? A Johnny thinks Tully should get fired. What do you think? I've known him all my life, Uncle Tully Bear. He's silly, you know? He's not a horrible person. You tell that to Johnny? Yes. Maybe he should just get suspended or something. Is Renee going to represent him? Absolutely not. I had to ask. I understand if you don't want to represent me. But what we did, Renee, we were just trying to have a laugh. What you did, Tully, was mean. It mocked every black person who's ever had to struggle for a decent life. Do you understand that? To be honest, no. But I guess I should have known better. I'll represent you if you want. No, Graham, this is way too serious for you to be yanking my chain. Why don't you come by about two, and we'll go over everything. Seriously? You got it, good buddy. Why 
let you do that? It's a freedom of speech case, Renee. And you know it. Unless it's just about hating Tully. To hell with him and his civil rights, is that it? That's not it at all. Look, I don't like what they did either. But there's a bigger issue here, and because you're feeling personally attacked, you're not seeing it. Did Tully and his cronies have the constitutional right to do what they did? Yes. Am I going to lift a finger to help them? No. So if the city succeeds in shutting them up, where does it stop, Renee? With gays, women, animal activists? In this office, it stops where I say it stops. If you're going to do this, you do it without the Jackson name or the financial backing of this firm. That means no salary and no office account until you're done with this case. You're the boss. Told you she'd chicken out. She'll be here. Maybe something bad happened to her. Yeah, maybe she ran away and joined the circus freak show. Step right up, see the half boy, half girl! Nay! What happened to me? I had to wait for my mama to go to a bridge game. Nice cards. I'll try to wait for you at the finish line, Mary Elizabeth. I'll be home sleeping in my bed by then, call your sums. Ready, on your mark, get set, go! Sorry, Collier. Way to go, O'Brien. Yeah. I'm sorry, could we start this over again? I was just about to call you. Fresh baked muffins. I made them myself. I couldn't sleep all night last night. Good. I hate when I'm the only one. I hear Graham pick up Dr. Tully. Well, Collier did. He's over there now, trying to be supportive and all. You going to the hearing? No. You? I got class. Collier's gonna go. I just don't get how you don't get it. What Tully did was just blatant racism. Renee, Tully does not hate black people. Oh, was it the pimp outfit or the nigger jokes that led you to that conclusion? Come on, telling a racist joke doesn't mean you're a racist. Tully's head hasn't seen the sun shine in years. Hey, listen, you remember when the Challenger exploded? It won an hour later. There was a whole slew of sick ass jokes, and I laughed at most of them. Does that mean that I'm anti astronaut? Astronauts have never been lynched for being astronauts, Emmy. Oh, Renee, according to you, everybody's a racist. I'm a racist. Collier's a racist. I never said that, but I would say that you're both prejudiced. Well, I'd say you're prejudiced. I probably am. Probably. You see a bunch of white guys in 10 gallon hats and mirrored sunglasses, you're thinking right away, redneck city. Doesn't mean you hate them. You just don't want to have them over for Kwanzaa. I don't even celebrate Kwanzaa. Now, you see, that's my prejudice. Huh. How would you like your coffee? Black. She thinks I'm overreacting. Yeah, she's right. What? <laughs> you act like this is news. I mean, what'd you expect? She's my best friend, Bill. She's white. White people will always be white people. We grew up together. We've known each other since we were 10. I know, baby, but they're never gonna get us, Renee. You know that? They can't. Look, I had a white partner once, and every time we drove by some fast food chicken place, he pulled in for lunch. Just assume that's what I want. That doesn't mean he's a bad cop, but it's not gonna change. I... Not until their mama start working in our kitchens. Not until they start getting pulled over for DWW. Driving while white. That's good. What do you say we up the steps? Oh, now you're talking my language. <laughs> we'll see. Four inside. So, how come you never got married? You know, 
We could save this for best three out of five match, even up the stakes, let's say, I don't know, ten questions a game, or even... Yeah, quit dodging, Jackson. <sighs> now, we could do this the easy way or the hard way. I got all night. All right, all right. The reason I never got married was because... Because the ones who wanted me, I didn't want, and the one that I thought I wanted didn't want me. Must have been out of his mind. You know, that's what I kept telling him. <laughs> On the other hand, maybe it had something to do with me, too. Maybe I just haven't been open enough. Maybe the right guy's always been out there, but I've been too busy and too closed off to even see him. So what would the right guy be like? Oh, I don't know. Part my ex, part my father, part Denzel. I do have my superficial side. <laughs> Oh, supportive of me and my work. And I don't need rich, but he gotta have a job. Kind, smart, funny, loves the blues, adores my mother and has to do backflips over my cooking. Well, better start limbering up then, huh? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Thank there you. you go. Mm. <laughs> what do you see happening between us, Renee? But well, first, I see you getting your divorce finalized. After that, I don't know. We'll just see how it goes. That's your answer? Oh, come on now. I thought we were through dancing. I don't know. I don't have a crystal ball. I... If you're asking me, do I like you? Are you blind? Isn't it obvious? What about you? Isn't it obvious? Kelly? Hey! You okay? Johnny and I broke up. What'd he do? Some of his friends. He showed up at Tyler's party in white face. And these guys started fighting, and we started fighting. Oh, Kel, I'm here. No, I, ju I just want to go upstairs. Oh, it's all so stupid. Morning. How long did you go? This is my first one, I swear. Just, you know, the thing with Renee and then Kelly, and I didn't sleep all night. <laughs> I made a promise to myself if I could just make it to sunrise, oh, well, I'm pitiful. Five days, that's great. I can't quit. I mean, not to prove something to you, not for a thousand dollars. What has happened to me? Well, a couple months ago and you were pregnant? Heck, every time you've been pregnant, you never touched a cigarette. Well, I'm not gonna get pregnant again, just quit smoking. Yeah, shoot, shoot, it's just like me and beer. Sure, I should ease up a bit, but hey, we're human, okay? You know, we have bad habits. You smoke, I drink beer. It's just more of that politically correct crap, if you ask me. It doesn't make us terrible people. Just weak and pathetic. How's Kel? Moping around upstairs. It's just all our recycled crap right before our eyes. Didn't it just turn your stomach seeing her go through stuff that we thought we got figured out 30 years ago? It's always going through it tomorrow. Hope you said a prayer. I don't think they'll fire him, do you? Governor's got into it. He wants to fire them all. And Tully's got how many medals for bravery and they're gonna fire him over one stupid thing? And why this? Why now? Why didn't they do something last year when they were making fun of gays? There you go. And I'm so mad at Renee for not wanting to help him. No matter what I say, she doesn't get it. And that surprises you? She's black, Mary Elizabeth. Blacks, they see anyone white and they automatically think the worst. And usually for good reason. But Renee's known us 30 years. Well, I guess in this case it doesn't matter. Bill called about tomorrow night. Wants to go see Jace for dinner. Hey, listen. Good to... Could this just be our little secret? You know how I hate losing. I am living proof of that. 
just wanted to win. Well, you did. I can't go to Boy Scout camp. I can't play football. I can't even ride my bike, Mary Elizabeth. I said I was sorry, Collier. What else can I do? <sighs> Nothing, I guess. Well, I better go. Nay's wedding outside. Leaving so soon, Mary Elizabeth? I brought some Cokes and a King Kong puzzle. I just adore Fay Ray and that big old monkey. I thought maybe you'd like to help my precious here put it together. Oh, she has to go, Mom. She can't. At least not until she signs your drab old cast. What color would you like Mary Elizabeth to sign in, precious? I'll take red, Mrs. Sims. Just like your pretty hair. If only I had your coloring. Now, you do that, and I'll open up this wonderful puzzle. Ah, uh, thanks. I gotta go. Bye, call your bye, Miss Sims. Bye, sweetness. She writes something nice, darling. It's gotta be love. What else could feel like this? It's gotta be love. It's starting with our first kiss. Collier and Emmy sitting in a tree. K I S S, -S I N G. Shut up, Renee Jackson. I just felt sorry for him. That's all. You could have killed him. But I didn't. Only because you were lucky. My daddy says it isn't whether you win or lose, it's how you play the game. Your daddy's wrong. I'll race you down to the swimming hole. I'm not racing you anywhere, Amy. You're dangerous. Promise I won't push you or nothing. I bet there'll be some naked boys. <laughs> Your Honor, these four firefighters engaged in a depraved, racist action. A malicious public display that was potentially dangerous because of the inciting nature of the deed. He's making out like they're burning Order. a cross. Order. Order. They've set the clock back decades in the matter of Birmingham's painful history of troubled race relations. And by promoting their brazen immorality in such a shameless manner, they have knowingly violated the fire department's code of conduct bringing disrepute to the department by committing actions unbecoming an officer. And for that, their positions as firefighters should be terminated immediately. Yeah. Yeah. Settle down. Settle down. This is not a revival meeting. One more outburst and I clear the room. Mr. Pierce. Tully Brown is not a hateful man. Most people would call him a hero. But when his shift is over, like anyone else, Mr. Brown is entitled to a private life. He didn't violate any departmental code of conduct. All he violated was some people's sense of good taste and decency. Immoral? Maybe. But the First Amendment doesn't police our morality. It simply grants us freedom to express a radical idea a controversial viewpoint or an offensive joke just as it did mr brown and his friends at that parade i urge that your honor recommend that all charges against my client be dismissed Thank you. would any of the defendants like to say anything on their own behalf Tell me, I would. Go ahead, Mr. Brown. Well, first, I'd like to say that we're all sorry, and none of us meant any harm. All four of us grew up here, lived through those days. I, I guess we'd all rather forget. I guess we thought we'd gotten over all that and could have some fun with it. I guess our idea of fun was, was wrong. As far as our jobs go, we're all good firefighters, and our jobs mean everything to us. 
We made a mistake, and it will never happen again. I guess that's all I have to say. While it is true, we enjoy wide-ranging protections under the First Amendment. I find the inexcusable behavior of these four firefighters did, in fact, violate the Birmingham Fire Department's code of conduct. It is my recommendation that their employment as firefighters be terminated. Be sure to call Renee and give her the good news. She never thought you should lose your job, Tony. Well, that'll be a big comfort to Maddie and the kids. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go home and put on my white hood. Man. Graham, I wanted to talk to you about... Yeah, I got it right here. That's uh, $12.64 for... Uh... 20 photocopies, 15 faxes, 11 phone calls, and uh, two stamps. That isn't what I meant. I heard you lost. I lost a case. Tully lost a lot more. Are you going to appeal? Definitely. I think you should. Why have you changed your mind? I haven't. I still don't like what Tully did, and I don't think he should have been fired. Graham, this stuff, it's in all of us. It's in you, it's in me, it's in Tully. We've just, we've got to find a way to, to deal with all of it. I wasn't sure I was even going to have a job. I'm going to be looking for someone to sit second chair on this. I can't, Graham. I won't. But whatever else you need from this firm, you got it. Including a paycheck. <laughs> Renee, you don't have to pay me, really, uh, really. Listen, I, are you kidding? I am thrilled to pay you. A bet's a bet. No, really, Renee. You know what? I didn't think you could do it. I am so impressed. Renee. No, here, done. I don't want to talk about it anymore. <laughs> Heard tell he's appealing his case. <clears throat> Might sue the city. Collier. It's okay, I mean, it's on everyone's mind. It's about as far from okay as it can be, Renee. Hey, man, you want to back off? For what? The guy was fired for a joke. Great country we live in, isn't it? <laughs> you met one of your cop buddies at Tully's. 25-year veteran of the force. He told me a couple doozies. What has six legs and goes... Ho de do, ho de do, ho de do. Three black guys running for the elevator. That's it. Take his badge, fire his ass. You thought that was funny? Well, maybe for well, the next time we get together, y'all should give me a list of what's funny and what's not. Well, here's a hint. Number one, anything with ho or nigger in it. Well, tell that to all those black comedians I see on TV, because I'm tired of tiptoeing around getting slammed for any innocent thing I say. You call what you said innocent. Damn right I do. White people have been dissing black folks for centuries, and one thing it ain't never been is innocent. Yeah, well, I'm tired of you dissing us. Is that a lie? Does that offend your history? Does that make me responsible for slavery or something? Hey, hey, call your... No, no. Bill. Everything's fine, we're fine, we're just fine, we're just having a little discussion. Discussion about... Viagra. Viagra. Go ahead, back to your drinks and your food and your general merriment, we're fine, we're just, we're fine. Viagra! It's the first thing that came up. I just wish you could understand how we feel about this. And I wish you could understand how we feel about all this. Maybe we just can't talk about it. Well, you know what? Maybe that's why we should. <laughs> all right. Now this is what we're going to press when little hairs start to stand up on the back of our necks. Are we sure we want to do this? Look, we are never going to get past this if we can't be completely honest about it, all right? 
And speaking of honest, okay, I couldn't do it. All right, you won. You were gonna keep the money? I was not gonna keep the money. I was gonna tell you, Renee, but I feared for my life. Oh, please. Bill, when we were kids, All Ray's... right, look, I broke Collier's leg by accident because I have this thing about winning. I'm riddled with guilt. I'm working it out in therapy. The end, okay? God. All right. <laughs> All right. So, who wants to go first? <laughs> Just as I thought. Fine. I will go first. All right. I've never understood how come it's okay for black people to say the N-word to each other, but if a white person uses it, they get crucified. Hmm? Um... <sighs> because with a black person, you pretty much know where they're coming from. But with a white person, you're never... you're never sure. Personally, I don't like when anyone uses the word. I got one. Why is it y'all always want to touch our hair? I don't want to touch your hair. <laughs> when I wore my hair natural, I had white people coming up to me all the time trying to touch my hair. It drove me crazy. And why do y'all love Gone with the Wind so much? <laughs> Black people don't like Gone with the Wind? Not like white people. Now, how come y'all wear shorts in the wintertime? <laughs> What's wrong with that? <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, explain this one to me. Snoop Doggy Dog. Right after you explain Barry Manilow. <laughs> and watermelon. Oh, hey, wait. Hey. What's the big deal with watermelon? How come y'all smell funny? Oh, what? Bill. We, we smell funny. Yeah, you, you smell uh, a milky oh, smell. Oh, well, I've I never heard that in my life. I always thought y'all smell like... Hey. Well, like, he started it. Like what? What? Well, maybe it's the hair product. Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, you're <laughs> <laughs> Seriously.